Hey everyone, Wine Andrews Workshop here, and welcome to the second tier list video for this channel. Um, I'm just making this because I know um, it's been a little bit, it's been like a week or two. Um, just, that's just because I had spring break um, and I was away from the computer, so I couldn't get any um, Gold Coast Aquarium or Southeast Asia build stuff done. So um, we're just going to have this out to tag you guys over until I can get more sort of professional style content out there, which I know is what we're all really here for. So, um, yeah, this is the animal tier list. As you can see, I, um, I just used the billboards instead of, um, like, making tiny cages for every single animal and waiting for the Trade Center people to put them in just because that's, that's a real pain in the ass. So, yeah, and we're starting in reverse alphabetical order because when we put, um, when I put the billboards down, I realized they were upside down, so we'll just go in reverse. Starting with the yellow anaconda, um... I'm going to put it in C tier just because I would have much preferred the green anaconda. Um, I think that's a much more iconic and interesting um, species with, within what I assume is the anaconda genus. So yeah, I think that would have made a much better addition, but all in all, it's not a bad model. Um, Western Lowland Gorilla. Um, I'm torn between A and S tier because... Um, hmm... A or S tier for the gorilla. I want to put it in S tier. I, I freaking love gorillas, and I think they did a great job on these guys. Um, I think like the the fur on these guys um, is works much better than it does for the orangutans, just because gorillas in real life have really short fur. So I think it works much better. I would probably put the orangutan in A tier, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I really, really love rattlesnakes, and um, I don't know, they did an okay job on it um, at first glance. It doesn't really have like the really intense like heart-shaped skull that rattlesnakes have, and if I remember correctly, the um, the rattle itself was kind of like not really emphasized in the model. So as much as I love rattlesnakes, um, I'm going to put this guy in B, but it was a nice addition. Next, we have the chimpanzee. Um, my only problem with the chimpanzee is that the um, skin color is, like, inaccurate. Like, um, some chimps have, like, the um, black fur and sort of pale um, peach-colored skin, but um, I feel like the majority of them have um, much darker faces than this. I think um, this specific coloration is for... Um, like, all juveniles have this, but then they slowly um, grow into their darker color. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, most chimps, um, at least the ones I've seen, have um, almost gray or black um, colored skin. So, it's a really nice model, though, so I'm going to put it in, like, we'll just pretend this is, like, low A. Uh, lion. Um, contrary to popular opinion, I actually really like the lion. Um, I know... Like, they're cartoony, I guess, and um, definitely, I, I definitely agree on the male, but the lioness is, like, easily one of my favorite cat models in the game. Um, I know, like, the paws are too big, and, like, the eyes are too big, I guess, and the babies are definitely also really cartoony, but um, I don't know. I can't be bothered. It's it's not really a distracting issue for me, so I'm, I'm going to put these in A. Next, did we miss any on the top layer? No. Red panda, wow, are we really? Oh, okay. All right, we'll do we'll do the tease first. So Titan beetle, um, no no strong opinion. It's it's a bug. It's a nice bug. From the frontier is really good at modeling bugs, but you know I'm, I'm never gonna see it because it's so tiny and it's in an exhibit box. So you know C tier. Uh, timber wolf. This is another one where I disagree with the majority that um, the timber wolf is like too cartoony. But I think it's freaking gorgeous. The um, the texture and the um, the sort of coloration on the model I think was top top notch. So I'm gonna put these guys in S tier. These are a really fun addition for all of my zoos. I use them pretty frequently. Um, Thompson's gazelle. Did they even? Oh, okay. I, because like um, in the Planko like language under the binomial name, um, it looks it looked very much like the real thing. So I was confused. Um, Thompson's gazelle. Um, get over here. I keep advanced moving. Thompson's Gazelle. I'm gonna put in C tier, I guess. Um, I like the Springbok more, 
even though they're very similar, but this is kind of just like a worse version of it. It's not bad though. I just have really no strong opinions. C tier is like sort of the reserve for like, it's good. No strong opinion either way. Um, Sun Bear. Um, I, sun bears are usually one of my like favorite animals all time, but um, I don't know. This, the version we got in game, um, it's definitely like a really well fed sun bear. This is kind of a consistent issue with all of the models in Planet Zoo is that they're um, like all of the different individual animals are just like super chunky, and I don't expect um, the devs to like model different like. Like body types for each species, but um, I think these guys especially would have benefited from like a, um, a skinnier model and a chubbier model. Not one that was like malnourished that you see in all those photos that have been circulating, but um, definitely like um, they could have slimmed it down a little. But either way, I freaking love sun bears. They are men in bear costumes, and you cannot change my mind. And I think they. Um, really successfully capture that like weird cursed energy that sun bears have. Um, so speaking of the Springbok, when we talked about the Thompson's Gazelle, um, this is definitely like um, a better version. This might be like completely personal and they nailed both models, but I just sort of like the the vibe of the Springbok more. It has cool it has cool horns and I like his um, I like his just, like coloration more compared to the Thompson's Gazelle. Alright, um, spotted hyena um, these guys, I'm honestly not a huge fan of, um, hyenas are, um, really neat, beautiful, chunky animals in real life, and these guys are just, like, really skinny, and kind of wiry, and, like, um, some hyenas have, like, these really gorgeous dorsal manes, and, um, I would have much preferred, like, a much more fleshy, beautiful, realistic hyena than what we got. These guys are, like, Lion King hyenas, which is not a compliment. <laughs> so um, this is our first D tier. Um, I don't hate it by any means, but like um, I would have preferred to see like a more um, fleshed out, healthy looking hyena than what we got. All right, uh, Southern Cassowary, gorgeous S tier. Come on, they. Um, I think Lion Rider mentioned this that Frontier has freaking nailed like the. Um, skin texture in a lot of their animals like the babarusa and the elephant and the crocodilians and stuff like that they have um absolutely gotten that down to a science and the feathers also look really good but the um the skin texture is really what stands out for this model and then cassowaries are definitely another all-time favorite just because they've um just because of how dinosaur they are even though they are dinosaurs birds are dinosaurs but um these guys have definitely kept a lot of what their ancestors had so that's definitely personal for me. Snow Leopard, um, it's pretty good. I like the Snow Leopard. Um, solid A tier, um, really nice fluffy tail. Um, definitely one of the better big cat models we got in the game. And I, um, they're definitely one of the more um, frequent exhibit builds for me just because I really like designing their like climbing structures and stuff like that. Um, Siberian Tiger, um, I've, where'd it go? Hello. There you go. Um, this is probably a solid B tier cat. Um, I've never built an exhibit for one, but um, I really... It's a nice model from a distance. Um, it's a lot chunkier than the Bengal Tiger, which I appreciate. Um, but I think I prefer the Bengal Tiger um, more, just aesthetically. Um, okay, Saltwater Crocodile. This is a solid A tier for me. Um, in terms of crocodilians, I prefer others, which we'll get to, but um, all in all, this was like a great um, sort of first look into the crocodiles we were gonna get in the game. Um, however, my only issue with it is that the um, the babies are, the baby crocodilians in general, or yeah, just the, the baby crocodiles are awful. They're just, um, Shrunk, shrunk down carbon copies of the adults and they could have done much better with that compared to something like the um, cassowary and the ostrich where the baby model was completely distinct as it should have been in real life but these guys eh, kind of middle of the road in terms of crocodiles but still really good okay um sable antelope um i really love sable antelope in real life and um 
I think it's definitely done been done justice. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the legs are a bit chunky. Um, it kind of reminded me of the Zoo Tycoon 2 model. Um, I'll definitely throw up um, a picture just to confirm if I'm wrong or not, but we'll find out. But for now, I think it is a solid B-tier antelope. All right, next we got, ooh, the giraffe. Um, I'm torn between S and A tier because um, I think the model is perfect, but giraffes just aren't really my favorite animals in the world. But um, they're definitely like a classic zoo animal, you know? Um, they're like a perfect cherry on top. Um, I'm probably gonna put them in S tier, not gonna lie. Like they aren't my favorite thing in the world, but I think they really get the job done and are a great like addition to any zoo. Um, let's see what's next. The reindeer. It's it's a reindeer. It's nice. Um, it's okay. It's a good reindeer. Um, I would have liked more um, color variation because reindeers are shockingly varied in terms of their colors. They're like white ones, black ones, and then you get the more um, generic skin as we see here. But um, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to using them more. Um, in like my polar areas that I plan to build for uh, some of my other zoos. But for now, um, I'm torn. I'm probably gonna put it in B tier for now. We'll probably move them around as we go along, just as our opinion slowly changes. Red-eyed tree frog. Um, I can't really bring myself to put any of the terrarium animals in S tier just because they are so fundamentally useless, but um, as a model, I think they did an excellent job, so um, I'm gonna put this in A tier. <laughs> it's a funny name. Maruno Dolan Liffy Flurp. All right. Um, red, red Rough Lemur, S tier. I love these guys so much. Oh wait, mm, I don't know, because um, their tails, both lemurs have this issue, but their tails are like way too curly. Like when they sit down, they like, Go, they shoot straight up, even though they would be um, hung straight down in real life. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty much perfect. Um, I love having lemurs in my zoos. Speaking of red arboreal mammals, we got the red panda. I think they did a really good job on the red panda, but I don't really have much strong feelings after that. Um, yeah, good job. A tier. No real issue. Love red pandas. Love having them in the zoo. Um, red kangaroo. I think they did a really good job on the red kangaroo. I feel like A tier is going to be the most frequent. Just because like I have my favorites. But then everything else is like really good. So I'm going to put the red kangaroo in A tier again. And we're actually going to move um, all of these guys up a little. Just so we'll have more room. We can do multiple rows. And stuff like that. There we go. Next, Pygmy Hippo. S tier. I love Pygmy Hippos so much. I wish I had more um, incentive to use them, but they are definitely one of my all-time favorite animals. And the babies are so cute. I can't wait to use these guys more. Okay. Um, I feel like we're going backwards at this point, but whatever. Uh, Puff Adder. Um, this is our first D tier um, exhibit animal because I think they nailed the um, they nailed like the painting and the texture. But um, I feel like don't these guys get like really chunky? Like they're called puff adders, right? Maybe that's like a defense mechanism. But um, we'll put up we'll put up a picture to see if they actually did a good job. All right, puff adder, pronghorn. Um, I think this is another solid A tier. Um, I really love pronghorns in real life, and you know what? We're gonna put them in S tier. I'm feeling generous. They're definitely um, a favorite of mine, and I think they did a great job. And I love um, getting the opportunity to use these guys and watch them run around in like my hoof stock yards. Oh, oh, go away. There we go. Next, proboscis monkey. Another S tier. This. Um, like I mentioned in the um, exhibit build for these guys, for that video, um, I think they freaking nailed it. Um, definitely makes up for like the um, Milan taper and the dull in terms of like accuracy or lack thereof. So yeah, especially the males. Um, 
they definitely got like the sort of chunky rolls of fat down on those guys. Right, next, polar bear. I think the polar bear, um, similar to the, which animal was it that I was complaining about? The sun bear. I think these guys are like way too chunky. Um, polar bears and zoos are usually slimmed way, way down, not because they're malnourished, but because they're usually being kept in warmer climates, so they're sort of fed a much less fatty diet compared to like all the seals and whales they eat in the wild. They're fed like fish and like fruit and stuff like that. Um, and they're also not like yellow enough, like their um, polar bear fur is like stained like a kind of pale off yellow, but these guys do not have that at all. So they're sort of, they're very like clean and shiny and chunky and um, that just doesn't really reflect polar bears in captivity, which I wish they referenced more instead of wild ones. So, plain zebra. Um, a friend of mine who specializes in modeling horses and animating them and drawing them and stuff like that said these guys were not very good. Um, I'll ask him what he thought about them um, after this video just so I can throw that up. But um, from a distance, I think they're okay. Um, like, again, this is a ho horses really aren't my ballpark, and I'll ask him what he thinks about it. But. Um, for now, I'll put these guys in B tier, and I'm actually going to move the polar bear down to C. Another reason is because of their space requirement, but it's not like I ever observed that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Zebra in B tier for now. I feel like a lot of these hoofstock are going to be in B tier just because they aren't really like the most charismatic animals in the world. Okapi! Um, I've never built an Okapi exhibit before, maybe once or twice, but um, they aren't particularly memorable, but I'm glad they're here. Like, the more animals, the better. Um, but I'm also probably going to put them in B tier, just because they're, they're a bit unremarkable, despite being like forest giraffes. Um, the Nyala, um, I think these guys are really pretty, but um, again, just kind of another hoofstock. We're kind of blazing through those. And we're also going to move this up so we can have multiple rows because I feel like we're going to get a lot of B tiers. There we go. Um, Nile Monitor. I do not like the Nile Monitor in this game. It is way too chunky. The um, the colors are like, like just off. It, it doesn't look like a Nile Monitor. It looks, it looks like kind of a small... Komodo dragon, almost, and um, the babies are like carbon copies of the adults, same as the saltwater crocodile, but shrunk down, obviously, and then like the tail is way too short, and it just doesn't, it just doesn't read as a Nile monitor to me. So um, it's nice we have Nile monitor in the game. It's nice to have another lizard that um, isn't an exhibit animal, but um, that's the one thing saving it from being like an E or F tier to me. Um, Mexican red knee tarantula. It's a nice spider. B tier. Good spider. <laughs> uh, mandrel. Um, I'm torn between A and S. I feel like Frontier has monkeys down to a science. Um, so we'll probably put them in S. I love these guys. Little scarlet manes. Um, land taper. Uh oh. Uh, I think you, I think we all know why this is a problem. Um, everyone's speculating that it's just a reskin of the bear's taper, which I would not be surprised if that was the case because the nose is too small and like the legs are too thick and like it doesn't really have the big gut that tapers have. So it's all in all a pretty flawed model. Next, Llama. Um, I'm really impressed with what these um, Frontier managed to do with like the color variation. Oh yeah, they have color variations, so why couldn't the reindeer? Um, but it's, it's a nice farm animal. Um, all in all, I think it's rock solid. We're gonna put it in A. Lesser Antillian Iguana. I think this might be our first and probably only S tier exhibit animal, just because I think I really love these guys in real life. They have a really neat sort of earth tone coloration. And like the face detail is like a little weak, but um, I think it's made up for just the fact that we have these guys in the game. It's also critically endangered. I did not know that. That's kind of sad. But yeah, um, really love them. That's probably gonna be our only S tier exhibit animal unless we come upon one we really like. 
Um, lemon's poison frog. It's a frog. Um, poison dart frogs are probably my least favorite frogs, not because I dislike them for any reason. They're just a little bit wiry, um, kind of not really as appealing as some of the other chunkier ones. But that's definitely all personal, so we're just gonna put these guys in C tier. Okay, it's another road down. Next is the Komodo Dragon. Um, I really like the animations on these guys, especially the fighting animation. I think they did a great job on that. But um, I think the model is like a little too chunky. Same with the Nile Monitor, it's the same issue. And the um, these guys definitely have the worst issue of the babies just being carbon copies of the adults because Komodo Dragon babies and adults are like, they, they look nothing alike. The coloration is completely different just because the babies need to camouflage and the Planet Zoo one does not have that really. Like I think they like added some vague striping but other than that there was nothing. So I'm gonna put these guys in like probably a high C because like I really love Komodo Dragons but I think they could have been handled a lot better. Alright, um, Koala. Um, a tier, I guess. Um, nice koala. It's um, a little too um, like sort of plushy for my liking. That would have probably um, made it an S tier if it was more realistic, but um, I still think it's a really nice addition and much welcome. King Penguin. S. Gorgeous. Gorgeous model. Gorgeous baby model too. Um, and like the like really subtle, like thin, but also thick feathering. Um, it's really well done. And I see these, this is probably like the most misused animal in the game by players, just because you've probably heard this out of my mouth a million times, but um, Antarctic penguins cannot be kept outdoors in temperate climates, but Planet Zoo did not make us aware of that, so everyone is putting their penguins in death traps, basically. But um, that's, that's besides the point. It's a great model. <laughs> Moving on. Um... Japanese macaque, um, another S tier monkey, I think. Well, yeah, no, it's it's S tier. I have no issues. I really they, they really nailed the face on these guys. Um, and like the fur, they're just kind of like little little white dudes, but not not white dudes. They are literally white. <laughs> um, let me move these up so we can have another row. There we go. Um, Jaguar. This one was underwhelming, to be honest. Jaguars are just the most beautiful, muscular, gorgeous cats. They're my favorite big cats in the world, and this they, they just did not do them justice, in my opinion. It's, it's just a subtle difference, but I'll probably throw a picture up just so I can better articulate what I mean. But um, all in all, these guys are just too plushy, too chunky. Or not chunky enough, because jaguars are just chunky. These guys are not chunky enough. They they look too much like leopards, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, nice to have a jaguar in the game, I guess. Um, Indian Rhino. This is probably an S tier for me. They did an excellent job on these. Like I mentioned with the cassowary, it is, um, they have completely nailed the um, skin texture instead of the fur. Um, and this guy especially, like, look at all those folds. It's really well done, and I love having these guys in my, like, hoofstock yards and stuff like that. Um, Indian Peafowl. It's pretty good. You know, nice to have a bird in the game, or besides the flamingo and the ostrich and penguin. Um, but I don't, like, have an extremely practical use for them, because um, getting them to, like, walk around your zoo is basically impossible just because um, um, they need to be inside of a habitat, which I think is super dumb, because these guys are like, harmless. There's a reason they're allowed to walk around the public. But other than, other than that, it's a really nice model, especially the male. <laughs> All right, Goliath Bird Eater. Um, I like this guy less than the Tarantula, just because its colors are a little more boring, but that's obviously not an issue with the modeling or anything like that. This is definitely much more personal, but I'm going to throw it in C tier. Um, Indian Elephant. It's it's pretty good. Um, I feel like Indian Elephants um, are very varied between indiv individuals, 
um, and it could have been done a little better in terms of like subtle differences, but um, all in all, it's it's really nice. I probably like the African elephant more though. Hippo, hippopotamus. Um, similar to the Indian rhino, um, I think they did an excellent job on these guys with their skin texture. But um, I think I just personally like things like the pygmy hippo and the rhino more. So we're gonna throw these guys an eight here. But all in all, great model. Next, Himalayan brown bear. Um, I've never built an exhibit for these guys. I don't plan to. They're just the grizzly bear, but like a little different. I wonder how they look side by side. That would be interesting to see, but um, this is a profoundly useless animal. I don't think I've ever even seen a Himalayan brown bear in a zoo. Like, if you have grizzly bears, why would you have this also, you know? So, eh, not great. Um, then the grizzly bear itself is okay. I feel like the, um, it's very cartoony, um, especially like in terms of the proportions and like how that affects the walking animation. All in all, it is just sort of very mediocre. So we're gonna put it in C tier. And like grizzly bears, um, like other bears, are also um, sort of very varied between like body types and like fat amount. Or, yeah, body fat, um, and I feel like they, along with the polar bears, could have greatly benefited from some variation in that department. Right, and then the gray seal, that's probably an S tier baby. Um, really love the gray seal. I would have preferred harbor seals, but um, I've noticed that gray seals are just as common in zoos worldwide, so, you know, I can't complain. I'll just pretend they're harbor seals, like I said in the Gold Coast Aquarium episode with these guys, I think they work very well. But, oh, I would have preferred California Sea Lions, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, Goliath Frog. Um, if you know me personally, you know I love a good froggy, and <laughs> I'm a big fan of these guys. Even though they're an exhibit animal and I never use them, they are nice to look at. I love me a good frog, especially one this chunky. Alright, um, let me go... That's probably another S tier. Um, flamingos are a literal cherry on top for zoos <laughs> because they're pink, get it? Um, but um, they are a quintessential zoo animal and I'm so glad they made it into the game. And also really nice model, especially the difference between the adults and the babies. Um, green iguana, it's like a worse Antillian iguana. Um, oh, you know what? I actually like these guys more because like the face, um, the face, like, texturing is much more, much, much better on these guys. Like, look how cartoony that is. That might be accurate to real life, but, um, I have a feeling it's not. We'll put up a picture and just see. We'll, we'll compare them. But, um, I think the green iguana is gonna, um, replace the lesser Antillian. So we're gonna take the lesser Antillian and put it in A tier. There we go. I think we're like halfway at this point. Um, oh yeah, we're in the E's. Um, Eastern Blue Tongue Lizard. This guy is also really nice. Um, I love Blue Tongue Skinks in real life. They're super chunky. They're just they're just little hot dogs, and I love them. And you know what? Um, I'm also gonna put these guys in S tier. I know I said there's only gonna be one um, S tier terrarium animal, but these guys have won my heart personally. Um, and they did a super good job on their scalation, so. Moving on. Um, Eastern Brown Snake. It is a brown snake. It's, it's pretty hard to mess that up. But it's also a really nice snake, so we're gonna put it in B tier. There we go. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Come here. Uh, Formosan Black Bear. Um, I feel like these guys, I can tolerate the um, chubbiness issue that the polar, polar and grizzly bears have. It's just because these guys are like chunky 24-7 and if they're um, skinny, that, that usually means they're malnourished. So um, all in all, I think they did a great job on these guys. I think it's just a little weird that they decided to like designate the subspecies because I've never seen that done before in like a zoo. They just always call them Asiatic black bear um, or moon bear. but. Um, 
you know, that, that really doesn't affect their rating at all. So I think they're a solid A tier, like the Sun Bear. Um, Galapagos Tortoise. I think these guys are a little underwhelming, just because, um, like, as they get older, they get freaking massive, and they get these insanely gorgeous, gnarly shells. But um, for what they are, I think they are a nice, solid tortoise. And they're also mostly too small, but um, yeah. Gemsbok. Gemsbok are one of my all-time favorites, and I think they did a great job on them. S tier. Um, giant Ant Eater. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, this is a rare moment where Frontier has been able to do shaggy fur, and um, I think it looks great. Um, but they aren't like... I'm, I'm not really in love with giant ant eaters. The um, I much prefer the silky ant eater personally is my favorite of those, but um, that's just personal, and we'll put them in A tier out of respect. Giant burrowing cockroach. I really like this guy. He's funny. He makes me laugh. Um, a tier. It's a pretty simple model. It's definitely on like the the weaker side in terms of modeling for these guys the exhibit animals, but um, I can't bring myself to stay mad at him for very long. Um, Desert Hairy Scorpion. Uh, it's a scorpion, you know. Same as some of the other exhibit animals. It's pretty unremarkable. There you go. Uh, that's C tier. Next, uh, Giant Forest Scorpion. Same as the other. It's pretty good. It's just a scorpion. Now we're getting to the good um, terrarium animals. This this guy's another S tier for me. The um, melee leaf insects. Like look at that. That is that that's gorgeous. The um, they freaking nailed the texturing on this one. That's it's it might be like the best animal in the Southeast Asia pack, which is hilarious. But um, here we are. Um, at least in terms of um, modeling, of course. They, they're still a pretty useless animal just because they're an exhibit box one. Giant otter, that's, that's, that's another S tier. I love, love, love giant otters. And um, they definitely nailed their like weird, like someone compared, someone called them like tiny Godzillas and I totally get it. They have like these weird reptilian nostrils and like the short bulldog snout and um, Frontier definitely nailed it with these guys. And um, it's nice to finally have an otter in the game. So I would have preferred the North American River Otter just because it has like a broader application, but whatever. It's still really good for what it is. Giant Panda. Um, I really can't complain with these guys. Like the Moon Bear, they are they're supposed to be chunky 24-7, so it's not really an issue with them. But um, I'm not really over the moon for pandas, so um, they'll go in A tier. Giant Tiger Lance Snail. This guy has like a similar um, charm to the um, burrowing cockroach. Although kind of less so, you know, it's a snail. It's cool, um, but I don't really have a broad application for it. So um, we're gonna put it in B tier. All right, next, Gila Monster. Gila Monster, that's probably another S tier. Um, well, hmm, I don't know, because um, I feel like they can get chubbier than this, um, especially in their tails. That's, like, where they store their fat. So, um, and they also, like, climb in their exhibits, which they don't really do in real life. They're more or less ground dwellers. But um, for those reasons, we'll probably put them in A, because I still really love, I love a good Gila monster. Golden Poison Frog. It's a yellow frog. You know, kind of hard to mess up. Um, same with the um, the other poison dart frog. They aren't really my favorite. <clears throat> Goliath beetle. I actually really love, I've grown to love these guys um, as just an animal. Just because of the game. They have really neat colors. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Neat colors. <laughs> cool colors, Goliath beetle. Go in A tier. Um, we're going to go this way. Dingo, um, it's like everything the Dole wants to be. It's a really high quality model, but um, I have next to no practical application for the Dingo just because they're vulnerable? That's weird. They're like practically domesticated. 
but um, you know, I I have no application for them just because they rarely show up in like Australia sections of zoos, but they aren't bad by any means. They're a very handsome doggo. Um, Diamondback Terrapin, that is like, that's probably the best terrarium creature because it moves, it moves around. It is a gorgeous model, really cool colors. Um, on the real animal, and by extension, this guy. I love their little beaks. And um, we got like a new, like terrarium type for this guy. It's like a sort of mangrove, which is inaccurate because these guys live in the northeastern U.S. But um, like, it's nice to have like a little mangrove terrarium that we can pretend is home to more accurate species. So all in all, that is probably the best terrarium animal. Um, uh oh, the dole. Um, um, it's nice to have Dole in the game, but man, is that model rough. Um, like I mentioned in their episode with Southeast Asia, um, they look next to nothing like their real life counterpart, and um, it's just it's not good. They're way too like cartoonish and Disney-fied, and the real animal is much more handsome. And I also wish they um, went with a more... Um, like the fluffier version with like the winter coat um, just because I much prefer that aesthetically. So moving on, the doll sheep. I really love the doll sheep. They have a great application for both North America sections as well as like farm sections. You can take the females which don't have as big horns and just pretend they're goats and they're super useful and very well made. So that's another S tier hoof animal. The Kluger's Dwarf Cayman, that's another S. The, that's probably the best um, crocodilian in the game. Um, yeah, that's defi that definitely is. I was thinking of the Gariel, but I like this more than the Gariel. It's like, like the scales and the colors, it's very, very satisfying. It's also nice to have a smaller crocodilian in the game that we can put in more terrarium style exhibits. Uh, the Warthog, not, not good, no. Um, Warthogs are weird and wrinkly, and like they have really long, wiry manes, and these guys just look not they, they have none of that. So we're gonna put them in D tier. That's another disappointing model for me. Um, common ostrich. Ostriches were S tier until I noticed that their tails are just cotton balls, and it really bothered me. Um, but oh man, the um, everything else about them is so good, especially with the um, difference between the adults and babies. I'm still gonna put them in S tier, to be honest. I can't bring myself to do it any lower. They are so well done. Um, common Death Adder. It's another snake, you know. Um, it's better than the um, the Puff Adder, but um, not by a whole lot. So we're gonna throw it in C tier. Uh, Clouded Leopard. That's probably. Um, I think that's I, th I think that's an S for me. Um, these were a very very highly requested animal, and I think they are very very they are very welcome um, among the roster, and I think they're super well done. It's nice to have like a smaller, more arboreal cat. Super refreshing. Uh, the Chinese pangolin. Um, I think that is a solid A tier. Um, the model itself is really well done. But um, I wish they were arboreal in the game, or I don't know if Chinese pangolins are fully arboreal, but they are definitely capable climbers, and in the game they just don't do it at all. Like, not because, like, like other climbing animals where they're capable, but they just literally refuse to climb. These guys are incapable of climbing in the game, and that is, like, woefully inaccurate. Um, but, you know, um, you know what? I'm putting these guys in B tier, because, like, pangolins are easily one of my favorite animals, and... They could have done so much better with like the behavior, um, and I would have probably also preferred like a Sunda pangolin or a um, white-bellied pangolin, just because those are a little more common in zoos. I've never, I think the only zoo that has Chinese pangolins outside of Asia is one in Germany, so like that's another issue of um, Frontier not doing their research in what in terms of which animals are actually common in zoos. I'm looking at you, proboscis monkey. Um, the cheetah, I think that's another solid A tier. Um, it's not like my favorite big cat in the world, but um, I, all in all, I think they did an excellent job on it. 
next capuchin monkey. Um, again, Frontier has monkeys down to a science. I think they did an excellent job. Why is it saying taiga and temperate? Is that in the Zoopedia? Let's find out. Colombian white faced capuchin. Yeah, no, it says tropical and temperate, which is like the correct one. I feel like they make a lot of mistakes on these. Like the, um, I noticed this on the sun bear. It says like aquatic for some reason. Like, I don't think so. They, they, they barely swim as far as I know. So yeah, that's weird. Moving on, wandering spider. It's just another spider. It's pretty cool. Unremarkable. Um, salmon pink tarantula. I want to get a better look at this guy. Yeah, that's pretty unremarkable. The um, the red knee tarantula is definitely better. That's like what you think of when you think tarantula, like the um, the black body with like the reddish orange joints. And then Bornean orangutan. This would have been an S tier were it not for the fur, but all in all, or not all in all, but everything else they completely nailed. So I really love having these guys in zoos. I think they are very, very well done. Besides the fur, of course, for obvious reasons. Um, bonobo. Um, it's like a chimpanzee that I use even less because they aren't as common in zoos. Um, so we're gonna put in B for bonobo. But, you know, not bad. I really like bonobos, they're chill. Um, bongo. Is this the bongo? Yeah, it's the bongo. I thought that was the niala. Um, where did I put the niala? Because I'm going to put it higher than that. But um, not, whole, not not by a whole lot. We're probably going to put these guys in like low A tier. Just because they're they're cool. They're like forest antelope. Um, they are like a great addition to like African jungle areas. But um, they are and they aren't like, I'm not like madly in love with it. All right, we're getting to our last row. Where are we going? Here we go, we're getting the bees. Boa constrictor. Um, it's like a better version of the yellow anaconda, but um, it's it's a pretty unremarkable snake. So that's going in B tier. Um, Black wildebeest. I don't like these guys at all. Um, Maybe they're accurate in real life, but I would have much, 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 much preferred the blue wildebeest to these guys. Because I noticed they're much more common in zoos, and I just personally prefer them aesthetically. So that's going in D tier. Bins are wrong. Um, out, of, out of the kindness of my heart for Frontier, I'm going to throw these guys in S. Just because um, they listened to the community and updated the model in like record time. And I couldn't be more thankful for the final result. I think they did an excellent job on it, so that's another S tier guy. And I, I'm super happy to see Bits Wrong in the game, because those are definitely one of my favorites too. Uh, the Bengal Tiger. Um, I like it more than the Siberian Tiger, but um, I don't like it as much as like the, um, the Lions or the um, Snow Leopard or Flatted Leopard. So these are going to be another A tier for me. Oh, you know what? Um, I don't like their walking animation. I think it's super janky. Um, so we're gonna put them in B tier, actually. In you go. But like, you know, you need a tiger in a zoo game and um, it definitely gets the job done. Like they have these really weird arched backs and um, they have the issue with the bears where all of them are super chunky, but there are some like really lean tigers out there that aren't actually underfed, so um, some variation would be nice. The bear's taper, it's like the Malayan taper, but better, much better actually. Um, I think they did a great job on these guys, especially in the coloration. All right, um, Bactrian camel, these guys are another underwhelming D tier, or no. Because, like, everything else is fine, but, um, Bactrian camels can get, like, super fuzzy and, like, weird in real life. And these guys are just, like, shaved down for no reason. And, like, well, I mean, the reason is because they can't, like, model fur like that. But, um, you know, would have been nice to see. Would have been nice to see them try, you know. Um, uh, Babarusa. I think that's another S for me. Um, I just put these guys down because I'm working. I'm I'm working on the um, an exhibit for them in the Southeast Asian project, and I I fell in love with them immediately. They're so cute and like short and chunky, 
and um, like the others, their um, skin texture is really well done. Um, Arctic wolf. Um, it's it's like the gray wolf, but but white. Mm, very unnecessary addition. Um, I'm probably gonna put this with the um, the Himalayan brown bear because they have the exact same issue. Where like you know it's it's not bad by any means, but um, I just have next to no use for them. If I'm using gray wolves and grizzly bears, I'm not gonna put these guys in my zoo along with them. You know so. All right, next American bison. Love, love, love the American bison. Um, yeah, it's a bison. It's nice. I got no other meaningful input. Um, it's pretty good. All right, um, we're getting towards the end here. Amazon giant centipede. Um, it's a centipede. It's, it's nice. I'm gonna put it in. Um, I'm gonna put it in B tier. There we go. Uh, Aldabra tortoise. These guys share the same issue as the Galapagos tortoise in that they're too small, but they're also just kind of uglier. Like, if you look at them side by side, it's like, it's like, ugh, compared to this, we're like, yeah, it's a tortoise. They might be like this in real life, but um, if that's true, I definitely prefer the Galapagos on an aesthetic level. Aesthetic level. So we're gonna put them in C tier, to be honest. Um, they're pretty underwhelming. And also too small. They get freaking enormous in real life. Um, African painted dog. That's that's an S for me. I feel like um, a lot of people have it out for like all of the carnivore models in the game, but like I don't really see the issue with these guys. I think they are super gorgeous, and the um, variation between their coats is also super impressive. All right, down to the last three. African elephant. That's an S tier for me. Um, I like it a little more than the Asian elephant. Asian elephant is like close S tier, but these guys are a solid S tier. Um, just because like the trunk creases and all of the wrinkles, I think it is super well done, and I love having them around. Very gorgeous animals, both in game and in, it, and in real life. Um, African buffalo is another underwhelming D, um, just because like it's like it's too dark and. Um, Maybe it's not too dark, but I think it might actually be too bright, because these guys are like pitch black in real life. They are terrifying monsters. And um, I feel like that eye is too big, and all in all, it is just a little bit underwhelming. We'll do another comparison image. And last, but definitely not least, the aardvark. Um, the animations on these guys are really, really well done, especially the walk cycle. Um, but. You know, I'm not over the moon about them like I am with the S tier creatures, so that's going to be an A for me. And that is the animal tier list. Um, again, write in the comments, um, make your own animal tier list. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see different opinions because, you know, I'm definitely not an authority on this kind of stuff. And I'll have a Southeast Asia video um, for you guys in pretty soon. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys soon and have a good one. Bye bye.